Today we're doing an unboxing of the HP Mini 110. Um, I've been looking into a netbook and this came up with you know good reviews and whatnot. I thought I would get this. It comes with the Intel Atom N280 processor, so I'll just pan up here. Uh, obviously, 160 gig, 5400 RPM drive, uh, one gig of DDR2 RAM, uh, Windows 7 starter, 32 bit webcam, a 10.1 uh, diagonal. WS VGA anti glare display. I was actually quite a fan of the glossy display. Um, I know not a, a lot of people are, but I actually am. I think it makes the colors look more crisp. Although it is quite a pain that it reflects, but you know, regardless, it's still uh, pretty nice. Uh, the Intel graphics media side 950 or the GMA 950, which is shared uh, graphics memory. 11 B and G uh, wireless LAN and Bluetooth and it has a 5-in-1 digital media reader and also this comes with a 3-cell battery not the actual 6-cell. Uh, so you can see really nice packaging that HP has done. They've done uh, environmentally friendly packaging I guess. So all right. All right. put that down. Very very nice packaging that they've done. Okay, so you get your setup instructions here. It shows you its uh, thin profile there. Uh, it tells you a bunch of instructions about it. Obviously, your your power and that in here. Actually, I'll lift this out first. I'll save this for last. But um, I'll do this really quick. Basic accessories that you get in here is your this isn't the 1035, so this is actually the updated version. So it doesn't have the square battery anymore. It's got a little, uh, pr pretty much what you'd expect in a standard laptop. Uh, that type of battery, which is really nice. So you can, the 6 cell doesn't look stupid in it. The power cable, power brick, and now onto the main thing the HP Mini itself. This is the main thing here. This is the HP Mini. It is very, very nice. Um, uh, this is obviously its famous little line, uh, I guess, logo. It's a design pattern that they put on top. Very, very nice. Wow, this thing, this thing's really nice. So if you can see that there, just. So that's a matte screen there. Looks really nice though. You, HP gives you a protector here, which is very, very nice. A little sticker that says Intel Atom inside and Windows 7 Starter. Now, of course, you can put Ultimate and that on it, but uh, Starter is obviously optimized for netbooks. Okay, so this is just a quick update video on the HP Mini 110. You can see I got a case for it. It's, it's a just a standard green point case, which I got from City Software. This is it fully booted here. Uh, you can see up here, you got the Wi Fi working, uh, time machine, all of that. Fans are working, sound is working. You can hear that. Let's open up Safari so you can see. Uh, if you're planning on buying this, just to run over 686. I mean, it runs okay, but um, you know, it's really not, not worth it just to buy it for that. So. This is what it looks like here. You can see uh, this is Mac Rumors on it that I have as a default start page. Um, for the most part, Safari and that runs pretty good. I'm just going to quickly go over this. So you've probably seen enough of Mac. I'll just go to about this Mac. You can see it says that it's the N280, 1.6 gigahertz, one gigabyte SD RAM. So it picks up everything pretty well. So everything runs pretty good. So now I'm just quickly going to go into Windows. So as you can see, I'm going to go into Windows here. This is Windows 7 Professional. Now, Windows 7 does actually run quite good. I mean, for the most part, it runs pretty nicely. So this is Windows 7 starting up here. This is what it looks like. This is the background I have on it. And it runs pretty well under Windows 7. So open up Google Chrome. Click on a video. So, just an example. Um, so you can see the the non full HD videos play quite well. 
Uh, and then you go to some that are pretty HD, like Chris Perillo's, and uh, Happy holidays, everybody. they and can sometimes lag. That was just a quick test of Mac OS X36 and Windows running on this. They both run pretty good. Um, I do give the HP Mini 110 probably a 9 out of 10. The only thing that I didn't like about it was that it was lacking the glossy screen. A lot of people didn't like it. I don't I don't mind it. Um, I actually quite like it. I think the colors look nicer with it. But besides that, I think it's a really, really good netbook. And you should definitely check it out if you're looking at getting a netbook. And if you like the video, subscribe.